Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm excited to be bringing you a 90s inspired makeup look and I threw in a little hair tutorial at the end too if you guys are interested to see how to get this look. I feel like the 90s are definitely back with hair, those bouncy layers, face framing, um, and so I just thought it would be fun to do a little 90s inspired makeup look as well. So we did a more matte chocolatey eye. So I hope you enjoy. And I use a mix of some high end, but a lot of things are actually drugstore products as well. So everything's very affordable. But don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can be notified whenever I upload new videos. If you guys have any questions at all, be sure to drop them in the comments. I love reading your comments. Thank you guys so much for watching and let's go ahead and get started with this makeup tutorial. Okay, so to get started, I'm gonna be doing the Candid Foundation by Revlon. This is a new one. I really like this. It's a natural finish. It says this has anti-pollution um, and it's also got vitamin E in it. So it's supposed to be a little bit more hydrating, which I definitely need this time of year. I'm just taking that on my Morphe M536 brush and I'm just gonna dot that all over the face and blend it out. Next, I'm gonna go in with my trusty Tarte Shape Tape. I use the color 22, which is light and neutral, and I'm just gonna be going right under the eyes just to kind of help brighten up. And this is a beauty blender that my daughter decided to tear apart, so we're just going with it. Um, if you watched my last video, you would know I was stressing out about getting Mila's Halloween costume, but I did get an email from Etsy saying it's on the way. Um, my shipping and tracking was all updated, so I have a feeling it'll definitely be here in time. Okay, now I'm just gonna be filling in my brows. I'm using the Brow Ultra Slim by Maybelline, and this is in the color medium brown. So I'm just gonna brush them up first. 90s brows were super thin, so I'm not really gonna focus too much on making them look really thick and full. I'm just literally gonna kind of fill them in a little bit for shape. Okay, now I'm going to contour a little bit. I'm gonna go in with a cream contour first. And this is from Mascara Beauty. And I'm just using one of their bronzer shades and I will link the color down below. I can't really remember, but I'm just putting that on the same foundation brush and I'm just gonna be blending this in and I'm gonna set it with a powder as well, but I'm just gonna go in and kind of add some depth first. I really like to make sure I push it onto the ears and into my hairline just so that it looks more natural. I'm just gonna go in with the Bare Minerals. This is in the color Camel 17. It's just like their powder foundation. And I'm literally just gonna kind of put that on blemishes because I feel like it just gives me like a little bit extra coverage. And I've got like a few little spots on my face right now. Now I'm gonna be going in and just kind of bronzing, not a whole lot of like major contour. In the 90s, they didn't really do the contouring like we do now. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of bronze with the Caramel Hula Bronzer. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with blush, and I've been loving this color by NYX. It's in the color Bang Bang, and it's just like this really pretty berry color. Um, and I would like to put this, again, just kind of gonna focus on the top part of the cheek. And I like to come in over the nose a little bit. So now that we've finished the skin and the eyebrows, I'm gonna focus now on the eyes. We're gonna do more of a matte chocolate brown um, with a 
matte brown eyeliner as well and then we'll finish it up with the lashes and lips so for the eyes i'm gonna lay a base down first this is the revlon color stay cream eyeshadow and this is in the color espresso and it's just this beautiful like chocolatey chocolatey brown this actually comes with like a little brush in the lid so i'm just going to utilize that because this is basically just a base for our powder eyeshadow to stick to. For the matte brown color, I'm gonna be taking my Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm gonna be going in with this color here on the end. Second one up from the bottom. We're just gonna pad that down over top of the eyeshadow base we just did. So next I'm going to take a little fluffy brush and I'm just going in with a color very similar to my skin tone. Um, probably this one. I may mix the one beside of it. They're very, very similar. And again, everything needs to be warm toned. This is going to be a chocolatey brown. And I always feel like you need to go a little warmer with eyeshadows than you think. And we just really want to go through and buff out any harsh lines and you want it to be darkest on the lid and then get lighter through the crease area this is gonna look beautiful with any eye color the next thing I'm gonna do is go in with a chocolate eyeliner this is a liquid liner and we're gonna do a little bit of a flick Now I'm just going to go in with a black mascara and I'm going to add a few little individual lashes just on the outer corners of each eye just to kind of help give a little extra flutter and then we'll come back and I'll show you what lip we're going to do. Okay so I just finished the eyes. I added three individual lashes to each eye and now I'm going to be lining my lips. This is from Rimmel London and it's in the color Epic. It's just this perfect mauve like 90s color. Um, so I'm just going to line my lips. Okay, so I just lightly filled my lips in with that color as well and just kind of blended it out with my finger. Next, I'm gonna go in with this CoverGirl. This is like a matte lipstick. And this one is in the color Champagne Showers. And it just kind of matches the lip gloss or the lip liner perfectly. So I'm gonna focus on the center of the lips and then I like to blend it out with my finger. And then for just a little bit of highlight, I'm just going to take this um, Sephora palette. This one has like a little kind of champagne color highlight. And I'm just going to be barely touching that. I'm just going to dab a little in the corners. And then to finish this look off, I think we should do something fun with the hair. So a super easy, quick way to do like a little 90s style is always just kind of pulling the top back, leaving a little bang out with a little bit of volume through there. But that is it for this 90s inspired makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed and definitely get some wear out of this because I think it's a perfect look for fall. It's just so warm, the nice rich tones, and I just think it's such a lovely look. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.